Hi, I'm Dulce Sloan, and this is Count On It, the segment where I find out what's going on in the world by looking at the cold, hard numbers. Recently, you might have heard that birth rates are going down, and some researchers think it's not just because men are trash. Their sperm is broken, too. So I visited a sperm bank in Philadelphia for a closer look at something I try to avoid seeing at all costs. And this is where the donors will go to produce their semen sample. In there? Right in there. Oh, that's disgusting. All right. Michelle Adi, the clinic's director, explained to me that there's a sperm recession going on. And approximately 10 years ago, from one ejaculate, we'd be able to produce approximately six vials. And over a decade, we saw a very sharp decline, and we get about an average of three now. So that's a 50% decline in sperm volume. Half of them never even made it out of the gate. Oh no, we're looking at some real D students right now. A lot of them are just not moving, bumping into each other. A lot of them don't have tails. And those are not the ones that are gonna achieve fertilization and lead to a baby. So something is definitely wrong with the little guys. To find out what this spermageddon means, even for those who don't mind saving money on birth control, I sat down with epidemiologist Shauna Swan. It's a bad thing because it's a, what we call the canary in the coal mine. Canary in a coal mine. That's my ex's favorite sexual position. You gotta be real bendy to get into it, but once you do, oh, it's a good night, it's a good night. It's an indication that we are in trouble. It's pointing out a problem, which is not just about sperm. It's lower testosterone, erectile dysfunction, and testicular cancer going up. And then it's also tied to non-human species like alligators and fish and frogs, all of whom are experiencing changes in their genitals. Alligators' penises are getting smaller. Yep. Are human penises getting smaller? Yep. Shauna, why don't you start with that? <laughs> now I am focused, I am honed in. This yeah. is something that affects okay. me directly, Shauna. The sperm are dying, dicks are shrinking, and my heart is breaking. But what is causing this? We're being poisoned by the byproducts in our plastics. The phthalates and the phenols and so on. Phthalates. Phthalates make plastic soft. And they trick our body into thinking that they are hormones, like our testosterone or our estrogen. And when our body gets tricked that way, it doesn't carry out its reproductive functions. So if men's testosterone is affected, they have lots of effects on, on their function, including how much they want sex, how well they do in the bed, Okay. What their muscles are, what their strength level is. Okay, because I don't like weak men. If you can't okay. open a jar, so, change a tire, build something from Ikea. Even worse, Dulcie, is that if you're pregnant and you're carrying a boy, yeah. and you get exposed to these things that lower testosterone, the penis is smaller, the scrotum is smaller. Wait, is he as a person smaller? No, just his generals. Ah, so he can just be a real big dude with, no, yeah. no, that's, I've seen that guy, that's trash. Right. So was anyone doing penis size research? Because I have a lot of data to contribute. There are no studies that have tracked the size of male penises. So then how do you measure the damage happening to men's reproductive equipment? You can measure how long does it take to go from the anus to the scrotum, that distance. Mm -hmm. Okay, think about it in your mind. You think about that. I try to stay away. I try to stay away from that part, but I'll think about okay. that. Okay. That's the taint. Okay. Okay. And the reason that's important is that when the baby's born, we can measure that, and it turns out that that distance tells us how much testosterone was present when this was developing. Get a bunch of men in, measure their taint, measure their sperm count. And what do you think? Smaller taint, smaller sperm count. A plus. Okay. A plus. Okay. All right, so when Got I it? finally meet the man who'll be my husband, I just could a quick tape measure and go, all right, <laughs> would you like to meet me in the bathroom? Not for the reason that you hope it is. But where do you get these phthalates that are messing with our hormones and making our little micro men? Chemicals in the cosmetics, chemicals in our makeup, everything we put on our body, we bring into our lives, in our, ingest, breathe, put on our skin, has these chemicals that have the ability to change our body's hormones. Okay, so you're telling me that there are companies that are selling products that are poisoning their customers? I mean, why would they do that? <laughs> I'm just playing, it's capitalism, they hate all of us. In fact, dozens of chemicals that are harmful to humans, like phthalates, 
parabens, atrazine, and BPAs are common in household goods. Tin cans, microwave popcorn bags, plastic containers, plug-in air fresheners, water bottles, non-stick cookware, antibacterial soaps, household cleaners, hairspray, and nail polish? You have nail polish. True. And it's very nice. Thank okay. you so much. And Wendy, thank you. If you were living in Europe, Mm -hmm. there would be 1,100 ingredients that would be not allowed in your personal care products and your makeup. 1,100 are kept out by regulations in the EU, okay? Yes. In this country, you know how many are kept out? 11. So we need two more zeros. Unless the government can step in and say, look, we've got to get these things out of everybody's lives, we're going to be in increasing trouble in the reproductive department. Never mind climate change or COVID, there's a whole other life on the planet threatening catastrophe unfolding right inside of our own bedrooms and on our couches and love seats and in the back of cars and on our office desks, in a closet, a stairwell, a swimming pool, a beach, a park, even a Waffle House bathroom. But in this case, I know just how to fight back. I'm saying me, you, sandwich board, Congress, Plastics making your dick small. Fastest passing legislation in the history of America. <laughs> Fix it!